decided to uh, cut the lawn and looking pretty good. The front yard is looking really, really good. So it's, we still have to get flowers, hopefully this week. But yeah, there's, there you go. It looks really nice after a good cut. Let's go to the back. So the backyard, because of all the rain we've had, the grass is not doing very well, but it's still green. It's got a lot of patchy areas, dandelions are coming up and can't spray with Killex because of the dandelions. I've tried pulling them up without the Killex, the old fashioned way. Pulled a, a, probably about two dozen up already in the last two weeks. And one day I actually pulled them when there was about a quarter inch of water on the uh, grass, so on the lawn. So yeah, it's, um, she's a little patchy here. So I think probably I'm gonna start I have to get a few more bags of uh, topsoil, good quality soil with no mulch or nothing in there. Mix it up with seed, put seed down, put the mulch or the topsoil with seed down on top of that, pack it down, then put a little bit more of uh, earth on top and pack it down. And uh, yeah, one thing I would love to have is a roller. just. So I could do things like that really, really quickly, just roll it. And even in the back there where it was probably about half a foot of water, the ditch over here was full of water. Still want to do a lot of stuff, but it's too flipping wet. Took the fence down so I could cut. Dog is not here now, so he's back home. Tomatoes in this area are slow. I may have to give it a, a quick a little water here because of the trees right here. The lilacs, um, they don't get a lot of rain coming down on them. They, they will get rain, but the uh, zucchini is taken off. It's probably doubled in size already. And I um, haven't even bought any uh, green onions for over here where I've made a, tr a trench. Got to do that at work. And uh, still have quite a few tomato plants trying to give them away and I still have some herbs left that I have to plant. I've given some tomato plants and herbs to Patrick and Keeley over at their place. Took it over on Sunday and uh, go for a quick little walk over here. So most stuff is coming up pretty fast of the perennials. There is still weeds, still got to pull. The, uh, Hostas are coming up really, really good. The monk's hood coming up, but no flowers yet on the um, the lilies. Next door has lots of ferns. He said I could have some when he starts uh, pulling them out. Looks like he's doing some work. He's taking out the uh, edging. And I'm trying to see if I can get the edging off. We'll see. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, look, look at the hosta. It's just popping up like crazy. These are the hostas I got from work. Yeah, and there's some grass in here too. Hosta there, old hosta, that's an old, old, old one. Yeah, it's uh, some of the creeping time is slow because it's wet. <coughs> that's for flowers, we have to get more mulch. You can see the fabric, it's all washing away because of all the uh, rain and water. Um, the old monk's hood, my mom's, is doing good. Hosta in front of it. Hosta, oh, there's a fern that I planted last year from next door. Hosta. Oh, oh boy, it's really spongy right here. The uh, mulch. I can't see any more. Really want to put more hostas in there, but Shauna really likes hostas. I do too. If they're mature enough, they they have beautiful flowers. This area is a bit of a work. Still have to work on it um, because of the rain on my week holiday. Couldn't get to it, <clears throat> and so we go over the swing. We have to get the awning repaired this year or next year. This is a very very old swing. 
thought from my parents. My mom bought it when she was working at Wolko here in Winnipeg way back in the 80s. Beautiful swing, big, solid. We're talking solid steel. The swing is solid steel. The uh, awning has been repaired once before. My dad got it repaired locally and that started ripping and shrinking about 10, 15 years ago. We haven't had it, the awning on top of it for about probably 10 years. So it's been sitting here waiting for me to <clears throat> get to the time that I need to get Norwood tent and awning here in Winnipeg to, uh, they gave me a quote once and that was well before COVID. So it's probably doubled by now. Um, potatoes, well, there's uh, some popping through. They'll be popping soon. It takes time for them to come up that high. Peppers, doing good. Tomatoes, yeah, they're they're popping. They're they're definitely coming. They're definitely coming. Peppers in these bags, they're coming. They're coming. And these better boys in the back, raised bed, they're coming. The first week or two is a little bit of a shock for plants like this. I have had them out outside in the gazebo for at least two, three weeks before planting. So still have to put more herbs, whatever I have left over here. And uh, yeah, these uh, peppers are definitely growing. They're definitely higher than they were. Anyway, so that's the uh, pretty well what I got for you today. So herbs are coming, but yeah, nice clear no rain today we're supposed to get rain tomorrow on my day off crap i want to do some work out here got enough of it so grass looks green but it's really spotty a lot of areas that have because of wetness like this area right here last year that was beautiful green everywhere was beautiful green there was a few areas over there that i had to seed back there where the bear is, the polar bear, on the lawn area. I seeded it last year and it was beautiful by the end of the year. So, all right, so that's that's our backyard and the front yard. Hope everybody have a great day. I gotta go to work soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.